David Ander back with an update on the Quest firmware bricking issue, which has left several users with completely unresponsive headsets and caused many others to avoid using their devices out of fear of potential problems. For those unfamiliar with the issue, a few weeks ago, users began reporting that their headsets were going completely dead, without even a charging light following a failed update. The reports quickly accumulated, prompting the MetaQuest subreddit to create a sticky thread about the problem. Shortly afterwards, Meta's support page confirmed they were investigating the issue. The most frustrating aspect for impacted owners was that this issue affected both new and old units, leaving many owners with bricked headsets outside the warranty period. Calls to Meta support resulted in an offer to send in the broken headset and purchase a refurbished unit at a discounted price, a solution that understandably upset owners and likely created unnecessary negative PR for Meta around this already unfortunate situation. Over the weekend, owners reported that new units were updating to version 71 instead of the latest version 72 firmware. While Meta hasn't officially confirmed it, this suggests the issue may lie specifically with the version 72 firmware update, as version 71 seems to not have the same incompatibilities. Although the exact cause remains unknown, a reasonable theory is that version 72 wasn't compatible with certain older firmware versions. If you hadn't updated your Quest in a while, or had a brand new unit that sat on a store shelf for an extended period, an attempt to update to version 72 might fail and break the system. This is a plausible explanation, as updates can sometimes struggle with significant differences in older versions of code. A glimmer of hope emerged in the form of a post by Meta Community Manager Dwight Mc25, who stated that it's now safe for owners to use their quests. While this falls short of an official confirmation from Meta on their main communication channels, and gives no direct insight as to what the root cause was, it may reassure some users enough to open and update their headsets. Additionally, a Reddit user, Dracolousness, shared a response from Meta support explicitly stating units affected by the software bug would be replaced free of charge. While Meta support agents are known for occasionally providing inconsistent information, the specificity of this reply gives some hope that this could indeed be the policy, assuming no software solution is found. As of now, we still lack an official statement from Meta confirming it's safe to use the headsets again. However, with reports of successful updates to version 71 and the Meta Community Manager's post suggesting the issue is resolved, users who have been hesitant may now feel more comfortable setting up new headsets or updating outdated ones. For those who prefer to err on the side of caution, it may be wise to wait a little bit longer for an official resolution. If you're currently using a headset, it's still a good idea to keep automatic updates turned off for now, as no new software version has been reported, so there's nothing to miss by having updates turned off. If you're unsure how to do this, I've linked a guide in the video description below. I'll continue to post updates as soon as we have more, hopefully positive, information on the situation. If you appreciate posts like this, please drop a like. It's free and really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified of updates and a resolution as soon as it's available. If you have any additional information or spot a mistake in this update, please leave a comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.